Greetings everybody. This tutorial is about uh, mass data navigation in MineXpert. Being able to easily and um, intuitively navigate in mass data is the basis for uh, the, the ease of data mining in mass spectrometry. So in this tutorial, we'll see how to navigate data be that data a mass spectrum, a tick chromatogram, a drift spectrum, or a, a color map. I've opened this um, data file that is an ion uh, mobility mass spectrometry uh, um, experiment. And we are going to look at the various ways to uh, navigate data. First off, I want to um, bring to your attention the small representations of the keyboard and of the mouse that are located uh, at the top left corner of the video. These uh, representations allow you to monitor the keyboard keys that are pressed all along uh, with the mouse button keys uh, buttons that are uh, pressed so let's see how to uh, for example to uh, pan a um, a spectrum this is the way you pan you click on the axis and you move this is panning you can't do anything from inside the spectrum as this is not going to uh, to pan anything unless you really draw with the left mouse if you really draw a rectangle if you look at this rectangle you see that it is going to frame the data in such a manner that this small peak um, small peak element is going to be cut off. Look at this. The peak element was cut off. The rectangle selection and zooming method exactly frames the data as you want. So now you can pan and move exactly like you want. In order to zoom, you may have a number of uh, possibilities. If you right click, if you right click in the axis and you move, you can zoom. Notice how the data move by being zoomed or unzoomed and the left anchor of the data does not move. You see? This is with the right mouse button. Same here. Notice how the bottom points do not move. Instead, we zoom or unzoom. This is very useful as very often this is what you do when you look for the data. And now you can use to unzoom or to zoom, you can use the mouse wheel. What's interesting with this zooming is that you put the cursor on the region you want to zoom and it somehow remains there. Here I have desired to uh, monitor that peak. If I were to go here, I would zoom like this. And with time, that form of zooming becomes second nature. So let's look. Selection, that's a zoom. Right click, that's another, another zoom. Wheel, that's another, another zoom. Now, let's integrate this to a mass spectrum and start working 
on data. We have, we can open that very generously. And the typical mass data inspections way is to do this, to increase the zoom progressively. We see here that we have the artifact, so remove the binning and reintegrate. We can remove this and now we have a very nice. Another way to zoom is to right click drag without using any keyboard key just like this and you will see that the zoomed region will stop at the horizontal line there and then you are obliged to unzoom right clicking in the axis another way to do this is by pressing the shift key and the zoomed in region will always be full scale see full scale full scale full scale by having the shift key pressed while right clicking and dragging over the region of interest and i have the shift key that is currently shifted and you see that it remains always full scale we move and then we reduce or we increase the zooming now let's see what we can do with history not history like we discussed in a previous video history in the way we zoomed we moved in the in the spectrum imagine that i am interested in these peaks I would first look at them like this. Then I'd be interested in this region. Shift to have the peaks full scale. Then maybe look at these. Maybe these. How can I go back to the various uh, zooming status of the widget? By pressing the backspace key once and now another one time another 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 and you see that you go back in the zooming history that's extremely useful the backspace key imagine now that we are in a very zoomed state and we want to very quickly unzoom completely the data according to that axis we would double click on that axis but we keep this axis unchanged if we want to unzoom totally along this axis we double click this axis having done so first here and then here of course unzooms totally the spectrum in order to achieve this, let's say we are now here, in order to achieve this in one go, just press control while double clicking either here or here. The result is that the spectrum is totally unzoomed in both directions. So either double click in the Y axis to unzoom the y-axis or double click into the x-axis to unzoom that axis or control double click 
and you automatically unzoom fully the spectrum. Note that all these uh, these ways to to uh, move in and to navigate the data is totally identical in any of the widgets. For example, if I integrate this to a drift spectrum, we would see exactly the same logic. Panning, panning, this is simple left click uh, along with uh, dredging. Then it's rectangle zooming, full unzoom, control double click, shift zooming. These, these ways to navigate the, the tracers is exactly the same whatever the, the window where the navigation occurs. Thank you.